y'all. So coming out from the parking lot, right here in front of us is the rec center. You see how huge this place is? I've never really been in here like that. I've been in here like a couple of times. But the rec center, they offer so many things. They have so many stuff for you to work out. You can swim. We got an indoor pool. Do we have an outdoor pool? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have an outdoor okay, pool as well. Indoor pool, an outdoor pool. They have so many different fitness classes, such as yoga, Zumba, anything you can really think of. They got it. So we just gonna, you know, not be civilized and just walk up this hill. <laughs> yeah, we're going to stop right here. Dang, I don't even. I like my freaking student ID. <laughs> You got your key? No. You just gotta make sure which door is open. Try this one. Oh. They're open on Sunday though, I thought. Did somebody just go in there? Yeah. I don't know. We just saw somebody go in. I don't know how they got in, but oh well. Towards the green right here on our right, we have the, this is the student center also. Um, you can see it's closed in there. That's the bookstore at the top. At the bottom, it's like a little study room. If we can, we'll go down here later. But uh, over here in the green, they have different fun uh, activities over here. They always doing stuff every day. Different clubs, different tabling. Um, this is what we'll be having KSU day here. Y'all see me walk across the screen in most of my videos. I just never really show y'all the full thing. But it's literally called the green because it's literally a giant blob of grass that's green. So this is what we have like all of our school events, stuff like that. So now we're heading to the student center, which hopefully should be unlocked. Uh, so I can give y'all a glimpse of what it looks like in the student center. They have food. They got Chick-fil-A, Panda Express. We even got a little mini mart. Um, we got Moe's. We got this place called Jamba or something like that. It's like a smoothie place. Jamba Juice. Jamba Juice. You, it's like Jamba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jamba. So then upstairs, they have like all the uh, clubs and stuff where you can go talk to different people to get more information. So. Okay, thank God. I was about to be mad. <laughs> I was about to be mad. <laughs> Your books, all of the different types of spats. And then over here, this right here is like the post office, kind of, sort of, basically, it's where people come to like send stuff home or to pick up their packages and stuff like that. But this is all for people that live on campus. Okay, y'all, and this is uh, where you get all your food. So, as I mentioned, we got Jamba, we got Mo, got Panda Express. We're gonna go downstairs to show y'all what we have downstairs. We're gonna come back upstairs. And as I mentioned, we also have Chick fil A. We also have a sandwich place called McAllister's. How you say it? McAllister's. McAllister's. It's, we have that. Yes, it's in, in the. the uh -uh. It's in what building? It's in the um, Badgewell. Um, no, it's not in the Badgewell. Ain't it? It's right across from me. Well, I don't, whatever that building right there. Um, the um, accounting building and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 
This is where Chick-fil-A is, y'all. Chick-fil-A be so big. It's always between Chick-fil-A and Peanut Oh, let's show them the grocery store down here. So when we were outside, I was mentioning to y'all that there's like a study room and also like the mini mart as well. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. And then right across from all of this is the study room. As you can see these are the days when it's open. Okay, so y'all about to, about to continue the tour downstairs and now we're gonna go back upstairs so I can show y'all where all the clubs, the sororities, fraternities, all the offices are at if anyone is interested when they decide to come here. But yes, as you can see, this is mainly where like all the food is at. Like if you want food, this is where you're gonna be. And we also be having food trucks outside. This is actually where I was for my freshman orientation, Black 26. Are we in this picture? No, mm -hmm. we're not. We're not. Never mind. I was getting too happy. And these drums, you guys. This is where history began. When I, this is where history began. When I, when I, when I had my orientation, this is where we had our orientation meeting. Here. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. When you come to college, sign for food stamps. And if you don't, if you got people that see you money and stuff, don't don't be buying their snacks here because it's too much. Stuff used to be a dollar and some change. Now everything's two dollars, three dollars. Why is the bag? Why is the tiny bag of chips five dollars? I'm over exaggerating, but it's it's by there. And then this right here, this is uh, the Women Resource Center. Um, I've been here only one time, but you can come in here to do your work, all the different types of stuff. Right here we have the game room. This is the game room, y'all. They got pool in here, ping pong. What else they got? A whole bunch. They got a whole bunch of different game stuff in here. You basically come up in there and chill or whatever. Hang out with your friends. And 
And then when you come out to the left, we have an hour radio, which I didn't, I was not aware of. I did not know we had something like this. So if you like stuff like this, there you go. The bucket list. Okay, so if you just go search bucket list KSU, it's a whole thing like different events, like different stuff that they be having on campus. And every time you go, you tap your talent card or your ID, and you get points for it. And also, if you upload pictures, sometimes you take upload a picture, you can upload a picture, you get points for it. Basically, once you get all the points when you graduate, you get this KSU thingy, and then like you get a whole bunch of other stuff. It's like really cool, but. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the bucket list. So, on the second floor is where all the offices are. So, here's my office, uh, the office of the dean, office of the dean of students. resource yeah money you guys know I've never been in any of these I walked past these before I have been in one of these offices um I think we're about to pass it things coming up okay I think it was the office back there but basically they have <coughs> this thing um, there's a program called the Wellness Group or something like that, the Wellness Center. And basically what they do is the college students that are here to talk to you, um, if you're having a hard time with balancing college life, you're, you're battling depression, you're having family issues, anything you need to talk about, basically it's like therapy, but it's like you're talking to someone that's is this your age or they can relate to you because they're in college too trying to figure stuff out too i have a friend she works there and she loves her job um so if you're interested that's a job you can do if you want to just be there to, to talk to people and help them and give them the advice you don't have to be a certified therapist or nothing like that but it's just good for students to connect with other students
KSU, they're very, they're, they're very diverse when it comes to color, race, ethnicity, what you love, what you like, what you do, what you don't do. Like, they're very, like, much, very open. That's what I love about KSU. It's very accepting, even the professors. We're gonna walk through these double doors, walk through those doors, and the library is right there. Oh yeah, this is where people come out. They sit out here, they do their homework, they talk, they socialize. We also be having tables out here as well. Got a beautiful area over here where you can sit at. You your laptop, computer, the phone going there, you just put it up. It's a little bench thingy. Sturgis. Okay, this is whatever library. This is a library, y'all. Library, y'all. Sorry I can't show y'all, but yeah. Okay, y'all. So I'm not gonna walk all the way around back there, but we're gonna I'm gonna show y'all what the back like behind the library is because it's a whole nother building back there. Um I'll let Lindsay tell y'all more about this building because she knows about it. So Okay. So this is my building. Um, I am a criminal justice major, and so the College of Humanities and Social Sciences will be in the building where most of your classes will be once you get into your major class. Because the first two years are just more of your core classes, and then that's when you start to get into your major classes. So the building all the way in the back it's my building. Um, so y'all, this is the building. This is where Starbucks is. So yeah. This is where Lindsay, she be having her classes at. So is there this anything you wanna is, share? Um basically this is just a building for people that are into social sciences, such as like criminal justice, sociology, psychology, all these types of um yeah, all these types of majors and classes and stuff. So um yeah, and then the building is pretty quiet and it has a lot of space for you to sit and just relax. There's this sitting room right here that you can just sit in. And then the elevators are this way because we have four floors. Um, some are lecture rooms, some are computer labs. But um, yeah, so yeah. This is my room. The elevator right here. Okay. More vending machines, of course. Yeah, that's pretty much it about my building. Here's Thanks. some information as well, y'all. If y'all know what y'all made is gonna be here, is um. These are the departments mm -hmm. um, of each major that's in the Humanities and Social Sciences College. Pretty 
is self-explanatory. If you need help on your papers, anything like that, you need somebody to look at your paper, you're gonna come to this building to get, there's a whole office dedicated to like, where they help you edit your papers and stuff. So yes, y'all, this is the back of the student center, where we just came from. We first came on the campus. So, yes. This building right here, you know the name of the building? The ALC, the Academic Learning Center. Which is basically, in this building you have classes, but also a lot of people that come here to just study, do their homework. There's a whole, um, there's a whole classroom where you can just go in there just to study. Well, a study room. There it's is hard. also a Cinnabon in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's... And the McAllister's in that building right there. Mm -hmm. And also across as well, right beside the building is where the dining hall is. So if you're hungry and you have meal plan entries. Yeah. Or if you don't, to pay to get in, to pay to get in, it's only ten dollars. It's locked. Okay. We all she gonna show y'all what it looks like inside. So yeah. So you know what building this is? I think it's the math building. Okay, we think it's the math building, y'all, but that's what Miguel is in today. And like the business building. That's the business center building for like business majors. Okay, we're not gonna go inside, y'all, but this building right here, that's, that is the commons, that is the dining hall. All different types of stuff. I've been there like a couple of times. Because I don't have a meal plan. Because I don't live on campus. I don't have a meal plan. And you have to get a meal plan when you live on campus, don't you? You don't, don't have to, it. but it's recommended. For freshmen, they have to get a weekly meal plan. But for upperclassmen that live on campus, you can buy certain entries, certain amount of entries, and uh -oh, certain amount of dining dollars where you can dine on campus at the fast food restaurant. You can catch the bus as well. So yeah. So it's two stops, it's two bus stops on campus down there where we just saw the show y'all earlier and then back here. So now we're slowly approaching the green again, which as you can see, it's a lot of scenery. It's very beautiful. It's a very beautiful day. It work. It's good to bring like a towel or like, like a beach towel or like a blanket or something. Cause a lot of people just sit on the green. Especially on beautiful days, y'all. I'm telling y'all like, it don't matter how much sun it is. They gonna be outside. Yeah, well, we are slowly approaching. Oh, you gonna show this part with you? This right here, this is where you can, you go, you walk through those doors, and then on the right, McAllister is right there. You can't miss it. You can't. College of Business. Yeah. So this is where accounting majors, business majors, everything that has to do with that, that's where their classes mostly are. Yeah, so now we're slowly approaching the back of college education building. This is my building. This is where I have all my classes at. So if the doors are locked, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like inside. And I'm gonna also show y'all track in the innovation lab, which is really neat. You're gonna you're gonna know about those two as much because when you first enter the program, that's all you talk about. I just knew it was going to be locked. Come tell me what it is. But this is a bad little building, y'all. Y'all see me come here all the time. About it. Just a few insights about it. As I said again, if you're an educator,
education major you're going to have all your classes in this building um on the second floor there's this place called track and track is basically i forgot what each one stands for but it's like an acronym but track is basically where you can go to get all your resources from you need posters you need sticky notes you need markers you need books you need games you need any type of supplies for your lesson plans for anything Just, that's where you go you can get things laminated you can do so much the innovation lab that's basically where you can go to like make different fun different types of animations and things like that and one of my old videos y'all kind of saw why i was playing with this little bee thing um that was me in the innovation lab if i can find it, i'll pop a little bit of it in here so you can see what i'm talking about but yes this is where you have all your classes if you decide to be an education major It all began. Orientation day. This is where everybody take their picture. Closing it over here on the curb. This is where they be having the food stuff set. It usually be about like two or three a day. But I never ate there before, so I can't tell y'all if it's good or not. This is where the basketball games are. This is where we have our homecoming concerts, any concerts that are approaching like the one that we have at KSU Day. We have Travis Porter coming to perform. So yeah. And I'll go further, like behind this building, there's parking back there as well. Get tickets. If you want to come here and shoot ball, I'm sorry, you can't do that. But yeah, this is it, y'all. This is the Comcast Center. Everything, you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Click that bell notification. Make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, if you want anything about any more details, just please comment down below. Y'all take care. Be safe. And I'll see y'all in another video. Peace out.